Hello and welcome to this Simul True Sky video. Today we will be showing you how to install the True Sky plugin in Unreal Engine 4. You will need an up-to-date version of Unreal Engine 4. If you don't already have Unreal Engine 4 installed, please download the Epic Game Installer from the Epic Game website. Once installed, navigate to the Unreal Engine page and install the latest version of Unreal Engine 4. If you have a previous version of Unreal Engine 4 installed, you can use this page to update your Unreal Engine 4 version. If you have not already done so, please head over to the Simul website and create an account. You can start a free 30-day trial or you can purchase a license from the pricing page. Please log in to your account and make a note of your product license key and username. Next, we are going to download the TrueSky binary installer for Unreal Engine 4. This download is available from the navigation menu when you are logged into your account. The next step is to install the TrueSky plugin. Download the plugin and run the executable file. You will be prompted to select your Unreal Engine 4 directory for installation. If your directory is different to the one supplied in the installer, please select the directory which contains your Unreal Engine 4 installation. Once the installer has finished, you can open Unreal Engine 4 from the Epic Games Launcher and launch a project. When your project has loaded, click on the Edit tab followed by the Plugins option. Use the search feature to find the TrueSky plugin and click Enable. You will be prompted to restart Unreal Engine 4. Once restarted, reopen your project. Click the window menu at the top of the screen and click Initialize True Sky. The installer will perform certain tasks such as delete atmospheric fog actors, delete BP Sky Sphere. It will then add True Sky Sequence Actor and it will add True Skylight. If you wish to initialize TrueSky manually, you can manually remove the atmospheric fog and BP sky sphere and replace them with the TrueSky sequence actor and the True Skylight. Deleting the atmospheric fog actor and sky sphere is necessary, as TrueSky will handle fog, directional lighting, and ambient lighting. Once the plugin initialization is complete, you should see TrueSky appear in your scene. The final step is to activate your plugin with the license key we obtained earlier from your account on the Simul website. In your scene, select the True Sky Sequence Actor in the World Outliner window. In the Details window, use the search query to find True Sky. In the Results, find the Active Sequence property and double click the S icon. In the pop-up window, enter your username and license key. Correct credentials should signal OK, which means your TrueSky plugin is now activated. 